Okay. So I think I verified my account for YouTube, which and I'm not sure what that means. I hope that doesn't mean bad things, but I think that means I can do longer videos, but hopefully, you know. Uh, so anyway, we're in the middle of a Tabata workout. Hopefully you're watching it in a playlist so that you can, um, you can uh, have the full workout. Um, but uh, I think I'll be able to do longer ones so that it doesn't have to be in a playlist, 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 and you can just watch my videos. So that'll be cool. Um, the next one is going to be, I'm gonna close this door because my dog is a watchdog even though she's teeny. Okay, and uh, the next one is going to be um, one is on the floor and one is, I have to find the happy medium here, but one is on the floor and it's push-ups again. Sorry, I know people don't like push-ups, but they're so good. Uh, and now that's too low. But we're gonna do a squat hopscotch jump, right? That looks like this. It's gonna be here, 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 here. And you're gonna do hands. You're like kicking your butt with your heel. But you're not forgetting that you're starting from this squat. Okay? That's gonna be a drag, and then, and, but it'll be great. And then you're gonna do a push-up, it, but it's for only 20 seconds. Those are the things you must remember. 20 seconds only. So, again, spreading fingers wide. Um, if you can do this on your toes, go for it. If you are not lowering as low as you would lower in a knee push-up, then go down to your knees. If you need to go to your knees, bring your hips forward. This is going to be a lower halfway, go all the way, lift, lift. So you're stopping in the middle. Down, down, lift, lift. You wanna do it on your toes, down, down, lift, lift. Half and half, half and half, okay? All right, time for music. Um, okay, I think this is, I was gonna say Tabata 4, but it's not Tabata 4. Sorry. Okay. Squat, hop, hop, scotch. Here we go. It just looks so silly. It doesn't feel silly though. It feels real painful. Make sure you're sitting low. Make sure you're not arching or curling. Oh man. You're gonna feel that one. Okay. Spread those fingers out. However, you do your best push up. Low, lift. Low, lift. Halfway down, then all the way, then halfway up, all the way up. Pull your belly button in, super strong. Come up nice and slow. Hopefully you're hydrating. <laughs> okay, here we go. Squat. Think about your form. Squatting low. Three, two, one. Cycle three, complete. Ouch. Okay, you ready? Half push ups. Breathe. Lower, lift. Lower, lift. Don't let your head drop. Close. Oh, out of the shot. Sorry about that. Okay, you ready? Sitting nice and low. Weights in your heels. Sitting low. Pushing through the heels using your glutes. your belly button pulled in. You don't have to go super low. 
Oh, I was cheating there. Don't you cheat. <laughs> Here we go. I'll hold plank as punishment. <laughs> Lower. Halfway down, halfway up. Half and half. Keep breathing. Belly button's pulled in. Woo, how you doing? Okay. Here we go. Squat. You can take the arms away if you need to. Cycle seven. This is our last one. Here we go. Breathe. Lower. Lift. Lower. Lift. Lift. Next one is with these guys. Um, you're gonna go uh, V step, okay? And then we'll go. We'll lead with the other foot, so it'll be and it's opposite arm, opposite leg. So you're like wide plieing in a step. Okay, and then the other one is gonna be a lunge back kick. And we'll switch, okay? All right, V step. Let's go right, right foot leads, left arm punches. And you're getting low. Don't tilt your pelvis, you're just lowering your booty, lowering your hips. Your arm's tired. Okay, so for the next one, you step with left, and we'll do an upper, okay? This one is, step back with your right, punch with your left, back with your right, bending your back knee, here. Okay, bending back knee, tall torso, arms are up and in. Okay, so then left leg will go back, okay? And we'll punch with right, here we go. Left foot first, uppers. Up, opposite arm, opposite leg. Get low, tall torso. Breathe. I didn't watch my form, I used to watch in a mirror. Hope it's good, sorry, if it isn't. <laughs> okay, left leg goes back. Tall torso, belly button in, back knee bends like you're proposing. Punch with the right arm. Balance. Arms up and in, don't hunch your shoulders. Breathe. Okay, leading with right leg, jabs, okay? Here we go. Right leg first. Get low. You tired yet? I'm not. Get low. Okay. Then we lead with left and do uppers. Right leg back, left leg punches, or left arm punches. Go. 
Come on, come on. Bending back knee. You almost want to bump it on the ground, but don't. All torso, belly buttons pulled in tight. Woo. Okay, left foot, uppers, okay. Here we go. Punch, punch. Come on. Okay. Left leg back. Punch with your right. Here we go. Back knee. When you kick, your knee comes up first and you're balancing. You pull your toes back and the ball of your foot is your contact point. We did it. Okay, this is our last Tabata before our ab Tabata. And it will be, we'll do it on the right first. It'll be jab, cross, knee. And you can add a little hop to it. Okay, then it'll be the other side when we do it for the next exercise. But for after, that right one, it will be a front kick, back kick, back kick. So knee up, front kick, knee up, hinge forward, back kick, pushing through the heel. Jab, cross knee. Here we go. If you want to get fancy, you can go around. Okay, now from here, you're gonna go front kick, back kick. Try to keep your hips even. Don't punch with your arms. Concentrate on the kick. Front kick, back kick. Let your torso go back and forward. Don't kick anybody. Push through the heel. Keep that belly button pulled in. Okay. That whole thing, same thing on the other side. Nice work. Here we go. Jab, cross, knee. And remember, if you want to just bring your knee in, we're reaching our arms all the way up. Whether we hop or not, if it feels like too much, put the weights down so you can reach overhead up high. Okay, now from here, front kick, back kick. And remember, we're doing knee up, pull toes back, pop, back kick. Try to keep those hips square. We're not kicking or punching. Really spread your feet out to stabilize. Okay. Back to the other side. Jab, cross, knee. Here we go. Jab, cross, knee. Make them good punches. If your punches are no longer good, put your weights down. Aha. Go around if you want. We gotta do that on the other side. Okay, front kick, back kick. Make it strong. Front kick, back kick, control. Bend your knee first, pull your toes back in that front kick. When you lean forward, try and keep those hips square. Out and in with the heel, lead with the heel. 
Okay. Hopefully I'll remember to do a little circle on this side. Always keep your feet moving. Don't stand still. Jab across knee. Go around. Okay, last one. Front kick, back kick, make it count. Keep moving, keep moving. Front kick, back kick. Keep those hips square. Stabilize with your core and that standing leg. Recruit all those stabilizer muscles. Keep you standing upright. Okay, so we are only going to use, um, let me move this a little bit. We're only going to use weights for one of these little guys. Okay. And um, it's going to be crunch abs. You don't have to use the weights if you don't want to. But you're going to be doing, let me see. Transition. It'll be like this. So, and I will tell you, you can reach overhead only if the minute your weights go up here, your belly is supporting your back and you're not arching. Okay? Low back can't arch. So you're gonna sit up, jab, jab, try to reverse the lead. I'll just show you the next one in a minute when we're done with this one. Try to change the lead arm. When you reach overhead, that's a little extra ab move. You don't have to do that part. You can keep the weights or your hands right at your chest. Okay, weights down. Plank like this, but take your feet a little wider. Booty does not come up. Spread your fingers wide, you're gonna punch. I figured I'd incorporate a punch. <laughs> it's not a very tough one. You could probably pop somebody up pretty well. Okay, that's a good balance one. Uh, okay, sit up, punch, punch. Here we go. Reach overhead. Tighten those abs. Jab, jab. Lift. Reach. Jab, jab. Reach. Jab, jab. Make them full, strong, extended punches. Weights down. The punch is cheesy, but it's really to help you balance. Feet are a little bit wide. It's kind of similar to tapping your shoulders. Try not to let your hips tip every time you lift. That's where the core work comes in. Don't let your shoulders hunch. Halfway there. Ready? Here we go. Reach overhead, jab, jab. Overhead, jab, jab. Three, two, one. Cycle five complete. I know I'm probably not alternating very well. Okay, okay Peter. About shoulder width apart. There's a really fun one to do. You know, when we can all be together again and you can have a partner, you five each other. Psh, psh, or smack them in the face. I mean, depending on what your relationship is with that partner. Okay, last one of these. Woo! 
Make sure you're breathing. Don't hold your breath. This is our last one, then we stretch. Ready? Push. I'm trying to see if my hips are tipping really badly. Oh yeah. Recover. Okay. All right, you guys. Um, that is all of that. And I'm going to stretch a little bit. So let's see here. Take a great big deep breath. Lay down on your back and grab your knees. Um, and just rock back and forth and take some good deep breaths. Um, let's see. Hmm. Did that work? Good, okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? I keep waiting for answers. No one answers me. Okay. Nice, big, deep breaths all the way in and all the way out. Good job, everybody. Drop your left leg gently. Pull your right knee in to your chest. Extend your right arm out to the side, right out from your shoulder, and then bring your right knee across to the left. Keep both shoulder blades flat on the ground and breathe. Big inhales, big exhales. Fill it all the way up like a balloon. And let it all the way out. Now take your ankle to your knee, reach behind your knee, pull in gently. Try to breathe into any tight spots that you might have. Rotate your foot in one direction then in the other. One more little gentle pull and bring your right leg down gently. Your left knee stays in. Pull it in just gently. Extend your left arm out to the side, shoulder height. Shoulders stay flat on the ground. Bring your knee across to the right. Breathe. And ankle to your knee, reach behind your knee, pull in gently, breathe into any tight spots, rotate your foot in one direction, and then in the other. One more gentle pull. Continue those great big deep breaths. Now roll over onto your tummy. And come up on your elbows. If you can come up further, that's fine too. Be gentle, be careful. Don't tighten up your glutes. That's the first thing I do when I do this. So be really aware. And then I like to do this at the same time, but if you don't like to do that, you can do one at a time on one side and make sure you're pushing your hips forward whether you're in the, the single stretch or the double stretch, you're pushing your hips into the ground or forward. Breathe. Okay, come up onto all fours, tip your hips in, head in. Don't hunch your shoulders, shoulders away from your ear and then drop your belly, tip your hips up, arch your back, look up. One more here. Breathe, exhale. And inhale. Okay, now, this is my favorite part of the song. I can 
play this on the piano. I can't really, I'm just joking. Okay, take one foot in between your hands. I have my right foot in between my hands, but I can't figure out this whole flippy floppy thing, so whatever. Just make sure you switch. Curl your back toe under. Make sure your front knee is right over your ankle. You can also do this with your back knee down, I think. Okay, and then take your right hand to the inside of your left foot, and you're gonna twist your torso, or your, this will be your left hand to the inside of your right foot. Twist your torso. Reach your you right arm up. You can save on a lot. Oh like boy. Bombs. This is because we don't pay for the free one, or for the uh, no advertisement. Okay, hands down, back knee down, point to your back toe. Make sure your knee is still over your ankle. Square up your hips so one hip isn't out, out to the side, and then sink your hips forward. Reach your arms up and breathe. This is a huge stretch right in the hip flexor for me. And then hands come down. and then pull your hips back. Stretch out your hamstring. Let your toe come up. You can adjust any of these stretches however you need to. And then come up into a forward fold for just a second. Top of your head to the floor. Make sure you're holding onto your feet or your shins or the floor, whatever. And then take your other leg back. That'll be my right leg. And push your back heel down. Right hand to the inside of the left foot. Twist your torso to the left. Your left hand is, hand is up. Breathe. Hands down, back knee down. Point your back toe. Sink your hips forward. Reach up. Make sure your hips are square. Hands down, pull your hips back, let your toe come up, stretch your hamstring. And then come up into a wide straddle. Let your head come down, grab onto your elbows like this. And then bend your knees, toes come out, Forearms to the inside of your thighs, push open. Drop one shoulder down, keeping your forearms on your thighs, and then switch. And then come up, toe heel up. It's tricky. Okay, toe heel up. Take one arm back. And then sh shoulder comes down, arm comes across. Hook your arm and look over that shoulder. And then take one on the other side. Sorry. And then shoulder down, arm comes across. Hook your right arm over, look over your left shoulder. And then take your arms out, fingertips back behind you. Stretch out your biceps and your chest. And then give yourself a big hug. Spread your shoulder blades out. Breathe. And then take the other arm on top. Stretch again. Spread your shoulder blades again. And step back behind. Reach up. You can adjust this by turning a little bit. Step back, other side. Breathe. And then let's take a great big deep breath. Gather it up. And release. One more. All right. Thank you, everybody, for working so hard and for watching and for uh, sweating and doing all the exercisey things that we just did together. Um, I hope that you uh, will come back and do another one with me another time. All right, take care. Bye.